Good evening friends. My name is Dr. Sushil Shinde. Today I'll be talking on infertility and IVF. Infertility as we know, it's very rampant right now. Almost in 1 in 5 couples are suffering from infertility. So what do we mean by infertility? In infertility, a couple is not able to conceive after a year of marriage and almost we say that almost in 1 and a half years, 98% of the couples do conceive. So then it is very important to know that these patients are going to need some form of treatment or help from a consultant. So what do we know about infertility that there are many causes of it but if we broadly classify them it would be a male factor almost about 40 percentage female factors causing almost 40 percentage of infertility about 10 percentage being a part both the partners being responsible for infertility and almost 10 percentage when we can't find the cause we call it as unexplained infertility so what all things we do in treatment is depending upon the causes of it but overall what we require is to give a couple a child so what we call it as in patients of unexplained infertility, we give an accelerated IVF or accelerated infertility treatment for them. So what do we do in this? We evaluate the patient, we see how is the blood count, how the AMH count and the uh, semen parameter of the male partner. After evaluating that, we ask them to go ahead and go for IUS cycles. In case the couple doesn't conceive in IUS cycles, then these patients are being advised to do IVF cycle. What do we do in IVF? in vitro fertilization is a full form of IVF in a layman term it is called as testy BV. in this what we do we give hormonal injections which we all know we, we hear that the hormone injections are there and all so we give this to the female partner so that we increase the ovulation we increase the follicles in the uh, patients in the ovaries and have almost optimal number almost about 8 to 10 follicles in the ovum pickup so that we are able to fertilize all these eggs and then make embryos of it and then we can keep them and like we can freeze those embryos for multiple trials for multiple transfers so what is the advantage of this that we get a good number of embryos in one IVF cycle at itself so what is the advantage so basically all the pregnancies and all the IVF treatment the percentage the success rate depends upon the male partner like is the age of the female partner is very important uh, usually we say almost when the age is less than 30 years it goes to about 50 to 55 percentage of the pregnancy rate the secondly if you go ahead if the age is almost 40 above then the pregnancy rate even in IVF cycle drops almost over 10 to 15 percentage so all these things we are supposed to be uh, like taking care of while starting the treatment for the patient so always sensitize the patient that the female partner age is very important and is the most deciding factor for the pregnancy so the earlier they start the treatment is better for them now coming to uh, IVF, like what is the procedure in IVF? In this, what we do, we ask the patient to have uh, like different protocols are there. We call it long protocol or antagonist protocol in which we give FSH or HMG injections which we have. Those will increase the number of follicle size and then once the follicle size increase to an appropriate almost about 18 to 20 millimeter, we then ask the patient to undergo ovum pickup, that is the oocyte retrieval in which we get all the oocytes outside in the lab. Then we fertilize them either by doing IVF, that is in vitro fertilization, or by doing ICSI, that is intracytoplasmic sperm injection, and making embryos of those fer uh, fertilized eggs. Then uh, seeing the grading of those embryos and deciding on which day you want to do the embryo transfer. We can do it on day 3 or we can do it on day 5. Once the embryo transfer has been done, the patient is advised few medications like uh, estrogen and progesterone support so that it becomes uh, well implanted and it helps for the pregnancy to grow. And after almost 13 days, we do the blood test called as beta -SG blood test. After this beta -SG blood test is positive, we ask the patient to again have the routine uh, protocols for an, any antiprenatal pregnancy because IVF is not any different. Only few injections or few uh, medicines that the patient might have to take because of IVF treatment. That are the only changes which we do it in IV, uh, for IVF pregnancy as such. So overall, it is the same pregnancy which a couple can have naturally also. So then there is nothing like uh, there has to be bed rest every time the patient has to be bed ridden and all nothing like that the patient can have the normal life normal uh, day to day activity that would not have any problem in IVF pregnancy also i hope that i have made myself clear in this small short video uh, i'll be discussing more, many topics in front like upcoming and it would be helpful for the uh, patients and the couples thank you